welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. So today we're going to be reviewing the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydrating Fat Longwear Foundation. I have tried it a few times already. It's been so hard to film because we're having some works done in the house and not only does the noise make it hard but like also working so it's early early morning today. We're going to really put this foundation to the test. I'm going to come back later on probably 12, more than 12 hours later to check out how this looks. Before we jump into the video I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to Macy Smith so thank you so much for your really sweet comment and for watching my video. If you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so or you can just leave a nice comment. This is my background for today again like I said it's really hard to film anywhere in this house so this is just going to be temporary um yeah there's just kitchen smooth like it's nice for my baking videos which you guys really like it really warms my heart up you know but yeah it looks cool no <laughs> okay so i'm on the fenty beauty website and it does say that this is a hydrating medium to full coverage for all skin tones long wear light as air available in 50 shades oh my god like they just kill it I think they really started like really after they came out with their shades other brands took shade range more seriously I do believe that smooth natural finish skin looks like skin we're talking natural not dewy like your skin just had a must needed drink of water with grape seed oil sodium hyaluronate and 100% cruelty Okay, so they also came up with the Pro Filter Hydrating Primer, a lightweight hydrating makeup primer for normal to dry skin that instantly nourishes with a silky smooth formula. I have really been enjoying the primer, but I'm going to do half of my face today to really like see the difference. It feels so, so nice on the skin. And if you have dry skin, you will like this. It feels so nice. And I forgot how good Fenty products smell. The foundation, do the foundation does oxidise a bit, so this is a fresh swatch here, and then this is just from earlier on, like a couple minutes, and it has gotten a bit warmer. The non-primer side first. I forgot to say, I am in the shade 330, it's what I use in the normal pro filter. I definitely feel like upon first application, it's a medium to full. I still see that uh, mark I have on my cheek. It's not like completely full. And at first I did feel like I needed a lot of product to like blend this stuff. That's just a side note. I don't know, like I did use quite a bit. My sister used it as well and she said the exact same thing. She's like, she needed to use a lot and I felt the same about it. This side. I'm even grabbing some more product. So with regards to the shade, I'm actually quite happy with it and I know I'm going to get tan anyways. So, even though it does feel like summer's going, I just feel like the match is nice, isn't it? So here's a close-up on the non-primer side and the primer side. Even though, let's say, there's not much of a difference, the primer does feel really nice and hydrating. It's almost like a moisturiser. I really do like it for that. Love the scent. I'm so big on scents. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Alright, so this is what the foundation is now looking like. It's really, really, really beautiful, honestly. Like, again, you can definitely build this up to a full coverage if you want to. Um, no smile lines as of like the application bit, but there are definitely foundations that start to crease like 15 minutes into after applying it so uh, this is really nice so we're just going to see how this wears it's now 5 30 a.m i know it's really early i'm going to go to work come back later it's going to probably be really late but we, this is really going to put the foundation to the test but i really do feel like my skin looks really soft really smooth very comfortable super light that's just 
how I feel about it, you know. Yes, and if you guys are wondering, lipstick I'm wearing is a Revolution Matte Lipstick in Muse. I do feel like I see less pores on this side. I'm just going to say that. Look, this looks a bit more texture and this just looks... Whoop. Or am I just fooling myself? I don't know. One thing I forgot to mention is that I love the packaging. So travel friendly. It's just a tube with a pump. It's just so easy, you know. Um, I love this packaging. Really convenient. So yeah, I will be back later on, which will be just a click of a finger for you lot. I just wish, I wish. Alright guys, I'm now back. It is... 8 p.m. More precisely, 7.51 p.m. in the evening. I am so tired, but I feel like my skin looks good. It doesn't... Oh, my mascara is smudged there. Just mind that. The foundation is really, really nice, although I don't know if... I don't know. It's It looks nice overall, but if you look proper closely, it has separated on my nose both sides of my mouth it was it, it really like clings to my dry areas it's so weird it's weird though because some days I like it sometimes I don't it's just it depends on my skin I guess I have this spot here and it's really just clung it's not even a spot like it's just smooth like it's healing and it's just clung to that um, and if you just look closely it's just very very dry everywhere some days I've had good experiences with it, but I can't say like it's impressed me as much as my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk, the original Fenty foundation, because you guys know I freaking love that foundation. Um, and also like the Urban Decay Na uh, Stay Naked foundation, I've been loving that formula lately. It's so, so nice. Um, but yeah, it just looks really dry on my skin right now. I'll just, I just have to show you because from with the light and everything, it looks really nice, but just hang on. Can you guys see that dryness? I think it's the worst on my nose, but then on my cheeks it's okay. The only thing I can really say is that I'm not super amazed by the foundation. I mean, I did. I feel like I need to use a lot of product. I really like the packaging. I love the shade. At first, it looks amazing, um, but I feel like I've had better result after a 12-hour, even more day. Even though this was sent to me, would I purchase this again? No. Would I purchase the usual, regular Pro Filter? Yes. Um, the Urban Decay I'll repurchase. It just, it just hasn't stood out to me. That's all I can say. Um, I. And to be honest, when I was looking at myself in the mirror, like, I just felt like I wasn't really happy with it because it looked really dry, even though it's a hydrating foundation. It's so weird. But again, don't just base your opinion on my review only. This is my experience, my skin. Everyone's skin is different, so... I've heard really good reviews about the foundation, it's just with me, it doesn't suit. I can say it's definitely lightweight. I would say more, like, medium coverage. Um, I wouldn't want to, like build on it i don't know because i already felt like i used so much product um but it's still lightweight no smile lines i can say that and yeah it just clung to my dry spots really badly i don't know why don't ask me um and, and uh, i wouldn't i wouldn't go purchase it again so yeah that's my <laughs> review i don't know i think feel like you guys were hoping for me to say like oh my god i love this but i prefer the original one and I have been loving the Urban Decay Naked, Stay Naked, um, the new one, foundation. I do have a review on it. You can check it out here or here. You can click on it. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. And I will have some more new foundation concealer videos for you guys very soon. So yeah, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!